Welcome to the Fatherhood News Podcast. Please follow us here and subscribe to us on YouTube for your daily news headlines of all the news from the fatherhood space in Elite Dangerous. Here are today's headlines on the 17th of November 3306. Good evening and welcome to our special program today, coming to you from the war-torn star system of Badaba. I am Jim Cooper, reporting live from orbit, above the planetary facility, of Arrhenius Arsenal. And I am Hannah Williams, flying above the conflict zones currently surrounding, Misty Summit Surgery. Our top story tonight, the power struggle for the Badaba star system has now thrown the second largest fatherhood star system into turmoil with the civil war, between Badaba Interstellar and the Nationals of Badaba for the planetary settlement of Arrhenius Arsenal, this is the main warehouse of ground-based ammunitions that is used to arm the assault SRVs of the Badaba Interstellar faction, a key installation that has empowered the dominance of the Badaba Interstellar for a number of cycles. Experts predict the faction that controls this arsenal will have a significant advantage in any ground-based assault that will come for any of the six of the planetary settlements within the Badaba star system. Increased S-5 LM Guardian skimmers and assault crafts are now based at this installation. This war that is called the Tears of Badaba comes as many families are now torn apart fighting for factions rather than blood. Here at Misty Summit Surgery there is no escape from the war, as the injured and vulnerable look on as conflict zones swell up, with the cost of health care and the Badaba star system one of the highest in all of the fatherhood space, it is said that control of this medical facility is more profitable than a million loads of low-temperature diamonds. And the Badaba gold fortune industry knows this. Their commanders have been utilizing hit-and-run tactics to counterattack the LHS 1483 Values Party assault on this facility and have besieged Colonel Legacy trying to restrict reinforcement in a bold two-front battle. We will be here all week, bringing you the real-life stories behind these conflicts, and we will give voice to those that are forgotten. People like Sydney Atkinson, a mother of three that was trying to get to Misty Summit surgery only to find herself in the middle of a war. We signed on to a passenger mission in Iredal City. A dolphin picked us up and we thought we would be safe. It was a civilian craft, clearly marked and belonging to the fatherhood. My child got worse on the way, and I begged the pilot to get us there faster. I was holding my son in my arms and I can see him slipping away. The brave pilot maxed out his throttle and flew through the conflict zones. Alarms and warnings blared as we entered. I held my son tight and closed my eyes. I heard laser fire hitting our hull. And when I opened my eyes I can see our pilot pitching and turning. Then it happened. The canopy was damaged and air was slowly leaving the ship. I thought I was going to die. But we landed and the repair crew sealed the canopy just in time. We have nothing to do with this war. I can't go on like this. This was a fatherhood system. A place where families should feel safe. And free. Now it is nothing more than death and sadness. In related news the fatherhood base of Ken and Vision in NLTT 14879 was struck today by a bioweapon. Sources close to the fatherhood central command have said that they are still investigating this attack and will issue a bounty once all the facts are in. The attack only damaged the bio-waste treatment plant and it is thought that the rogue commander Hotpoint may be to blame due to his past as a bio-waste trader. Kier Dynamic Company forces have begun to retreat from the conflict zones despite the fact that their leadership have not surrendered. The news of the reinforcement force that is inbound to Gertrude from Uchala Roja has made winning this war an impossible task. GD-69 forces are allowing all commanders to leave the conflict zone if they have their hard points stowed away. Liberals of LP-417-213 suffer another day of defeat in their assault on Gibson Survey, with LP-417-213 Power Solutions military contractor, overwhelming the ill-trained forces of the Liberals. The Bay State Holdings control of Shuttleworth Terminal in Manamaya is slipping every cycle with Green Party of Zasha forces taking a second cycle of conflict zone domination. Appeals for independent commanders to fight for their side have fallen on deaf ears with most choosing democracy over corporation. 
In a move that many are calling a betrayal to political norm, the Shetty Democrats attacked four major conflict zones belonging to the Shetty Jet Transport Incorporated while their State Department was conducting a closed meeting with their generals. The generals only heard about the attack once they emerged from the Great Palace. The conflict over the Camus Remembrance Theater looks to be one-sided, with the military arm of LHS 1681 Confederacy outclassing the new V-491 per se law party pilots for a second day, with many retired commanders returning to active duty to defend this iconic theater. The first round of results for the election of Jones Prospect are in, and Arna Meal Systems have taken an early lead with voters siding over LFT 269 Corp., both sides continue to spread rumors about each other with Tull Hub advertisement drones cycling political adverts constantly. Yang Camp's election is now in a dead heat with both SDKM 1 616 Allied Limited and LHS 1848 State Incorporated awarded two win cycles. This election will go to the wire, with both sides now offering high value poll data transfer missions in a last bid effort to win this election. Nye Settlement election is now in a neck-and-neck neck race after reminds Crimson Federal Industry report that found that Blue Life Systems did not conduct any illegal activities. The election now goes to its final day. Finally in business news, Manamaya Rats surge on the stock market today, with news that the new leader Knox has assumed full control and has officially ousted Inky. The Fatherhood News understands that Inky has claimed political refugee status with the Fatherhood, but the Fatherhood Press Department have refused to comment. So Jim, how has your first day in Badaba been? I must say, it's an amazing star system. We flew past Badaba A6 and A7. What a sight, two amazing Earth-like planets, and I can't wait to check in at Gant Legacy today. A little birdie told me that you smuggled some Iranian whiskey with you on this trip. I am sure the fine was worth it. The less said about that, the better, Central Command may be tuning in. Oh I am sure they will forgive you, let's get out of here, for the fatherhood news I have been Hannah Williams. And I am Jim Cooper, remember commanders, don't dream of the stars, fly amongst them, thank you and good night.